everyone, what's up? It is me, Micah, and welcome to another bag related video. If you guys are new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Michael Louise. I usually make fashion, home, lifestyle, and faith related content. Now, for those of you who have been with me through the years, thank you so much for always being present and watching my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. I love you guys. And also, you would know that it's been such a long time since I made a video that has anything to do with bags. So today, there are three things that are going to happen on this video. First, I'll be showing you guys a quick preview of what's inside of my bag. Two, I am going to try to breeze through my favorite bags lately. And lastly, I'll be sharing something quite personal, a little bit of a confession regarding my luxury purchases at the end of the video. All right, all right. Let us start with portion number one. What is inside of my bag? All right, first thing is first, I just want to say that this fits a ton of stuff and lately I've actually been carrying more than I used to so I'm going to start with the back pocket of the bag there are three compartments here so first and foremost I can never leave the house without this clean and clear oil control film this has always been an essential in my bag and if you don't have this and you're an oily girl this should be an essential in your bag. Nothing beats this. I tried na yung kung ano anong type of oil control film, yung mga paper na parang may powder or yung parang black charcoal. Lahat yan I've tried and nothing beats the oil absorption of the clean and clear oil control film. Next up, we have wipes from Watsons. I usually carry also like this small pack of tissues, pero naubusan ako kahapon lang na ubos ng umalis kami. So yeah, apart from that, I also carry wipes another essential for me that you don't know when you will need it especially when something spills or when you have to use it on your hands pagkatapos mong kumain ng potato corner or something like that next we have this container where i put my band-aids there are different types of band-aids in here depending on what i need so i carry this around because i know that somehow somewhere i will need them because i always always wear shoes that are Painful. Next, we have a mini bottle of this Rare Beauty Cream Blush. I got this from my Ninang. She just had this sent to me from the States. Um, I'm really not the type to spend on makeup. I, not that I don't think it's worth it. It is totally worth it. I'm just cheap. So yeah, if you want to look more natural, just more sun-kissed, and you have a little bit more money to spend, I would recommend this. Next, we have my lip balms and my lip tint. I'll start with the Mentholatum lip balm. I, I like this because it has SPF 15 and it really cools my lips. Now, this pink one is actually a magic balm. So it's a lip balm and a tint in one. It's also from Mentholatum and basically, you will feel like you're applying balm on your lips, but then after a while, it will, you know, change the color into something more pinkish and make your lips look like they have more color. Now, this is the last item from the back pocket. This is my Sustain Sustan Ultra High Performance Eye Drops. I just put this on my eyes whenever they start feeling dry because I wear contact lenses, clear contact lenses. Back pocket is done. Let's see what the middle pocket of this bag has for us. So firstly, we have this navy blue wallet from Polen. I really, really love this wallet. I think it's just so stylish. The color is so yummy. The hardware has held up so well. I don't even see any scratches on here and I didn't even put like any protective film. I throw it inside of my bag with all my other items hitting the hardware and until now, again, still no scratches. Still looks pristine, still looks brand new. Polen is just such a trustworthy quality brand. If you guys are looking to actually start your luxury collection, I would highly recommend Polen. I also carry this card case with me. Now this one of my is from Fino Leatherwear. Next up, we have my AirPods. Ang cute ng case niya, guys. Pero I'm so sorry, hindi ko na maalala kung saan ko to nakuha dahil sobrang tagal na since binili ko to. So in here, we also have my mini comb that I got from Juju Club that came with a clamp. I think it is a clamp that I'm wearing right now. It's so cute, right? Bearing sila. And then we have my daily cologne that I got from Zara, guys. Please, I think I would never get to a point, well, I might eat my words in the future, but then right now, I don't think I'll ever get to a point where I'm gonna buy really expensive cologne or perfume 
because ang bilis mo ubos so parang nasasayangan ako kaya nga puro Zara lang yung binibili ko this one was only like 500 pesos I got the bigger version for 995 and they smell so good last item from the middle compartment of my bag is none other than my umbrella Tan -tan -tan -tan. I got this tiny umbrella from Japan like it is really so small. Look at that. I mean, it's just as big as my face. I don't know if we have this brand here. It is from Waterfront, but I will try to look for it and then also just link that for you guys in the description box. But yeah, here is the umbrella. Love this umbrella because it fits in almost all my bags. Now going to the final compartment of this bag, which is at the front most, starting with my number one anti-COVID, anti-monkey pox weapon. We have the Watson's alcohol. I love this because it smells so good and it has moisturizer as well i believe that this is yes it's a 70 percent solution antiseptic did i even say that correctly but yeah um 70 is really your sweet spot if you want to be able to kill those germs and viruses and then we also have this wire that i use to connect my phone to my power bank and lastly if you have a wire for the power bank of course you're supposed to have a power bank this is the power bank that is it for what's inside of my bag now i can't wait to show you guys my current favorite bags just a quick disclaimer guys i just want to say that i am not showing these bags to show off in fact it is quite the opposite i want to help out those who are looking for trusty bags and you don't want something that is only stylish but you want it to be functional as well and as much as possible i really don't want to highlight the brand of the bag or the value of the bag because if you find something in the same shape in the same style what i hope to show you is its use and its function starting with ten ten and then again my gucci horse bit love this bag to death i loved it in the black loved it in the chocolate brown but i knew i just needed a trusty white bag honestly ang ganda rin ng canvas version nito pero hindi kasi ako talaga nag-gravitate towards bags na sobrang screaming nung brand talaga. Actually, if you see this around, you won't even think that it is Gucci. And that's what I love about it. It's so subtle, yet beautiful. And at the same time, there is so much that you can put inside of it. I also really love that it's not that bright kind of white. It is more off-white. Or dahil lang ba, medyo madumi na talaga yung bag na to. And because of the quality of the leather and the structure of the bag, I know that it is a bag that will last me a very long time as long as I take care of it because it is in white. I did mention that I'm not really the type to buy bags that are very loud and branded, but there is this one bag that I just absolutely fell in love with. It is this Dior Montaigne 30 bag. The reason why I got this bag is aside from the fact that of course it is just breathtakingly beautiful. It is not like, I guess, I would say a Dior saddlebag where you can put basically nothing inside of it, even though it's it looks even bigger than this bag. This can actually fit the umbrella that I showed you guys and a bunch of other stuff. I love using this as a shoulder bag, but best feature about this is that you can use it as a crossbody bag as well. It also has a very usable back pocket, like you can actually fit something in here. Oh, and I forgot to mention this shoulder horse with bag can also be converted to a crossbody bag just like this one. Do we see a theme going on here? Also, just a quick tip for those of you who are eyeing to buy luxury, go for secondhand, but make sure the people that you're buying from are trustworthy stores or shops or Better yet, buy from friends, buy from family, or like buy from fashion file, the real real vestiaire, and then get it shipped here to the Philippines via a trusted courier, or if you have a relative that can ship to the Philippines, then you can have it sent to them. Next up, we have my Selena Triumph bag. This has so much history that I wish I can talk to you guys about right now, but then I would go on forever. But basically, and by the way, when you guys are buying online, make sure to really check the seller that you are buying from. Make sure, make sure to really check the authenticity and chances are, if it's too good to be true, then it is not an authentic bag. This bag, is compartmentalized much like the first one that i showed you i just love this bag because it is a bag that i know that i can 100 percent trust i mean this has been with me for quite a while now but it still looks brand new and since it is black it goes with so many different outfits i am honestly willing to say bye to all of my other bags but this will 
I will have to keep forever. I mean, not that I'm going to get rid of any of these bags. I don't think I would now. <laughs> Another one of my most favorite bags. I don't know, maybe this could be at the top of the list even. Maybe this could even take the triumph out of the top of the list. I don't know, but yeah. We have this Chanel Gabrielle bag. I love this bag because you can wear it in so many different ways. You know, it's not a very well-known Chanel bag actually, which I really like. I mean, as much as I think that the classic flaps are beautiful bags, you also cannot put much in them. <laughs> and they cost a fortune. The most I like this bag is that it's an if you know, you know bag. Like, if you didn't really see the CC logo, which, by the way, it doesn't really remain dangling there all the time like most of the time it stays at the top of the bag again you won't really be able to tell that this is a Chanel bag which I absolutely love about it I don't want my bag screaming its brand I love my bags for their look I love my bags for their functionality I love my bags for their design and how they complement my outfits I don't love them because of the brand. <laughs> oh, and of course, I love them for the quality. So yeah, you open this bag up and you can fit a lot of stuff. The only tricky thing about this Gabrielle bag is that, well, the opening could be a little bit stiff. It could be a little bit difficult to fit more stuff in here because of this flap here at the top that could have been like a zipper that went all the way there. But well, you know, it is what it is. And I still really do love it because you can still fit a lot of stuff in here. I think this bag is a little more rock star looking. It is um, not something that a lot of people will like. In fact, when this came out, I know that it was like one of the most hated Chanel bags, but yeah, I'm like, I, I love this bag. Oh yeah, and the last thing about this bag is that you can wear it in 12 different ways. This is my most favorite way to wear it because it acts like an accessory to your outfit. I will quickly breeze through the last two bags. Here we have my most favorite brown bag ever. This is, please correct me if I'm wrong, this is the Cochinelle. Cochinelle camera bag. And I actually got this off of Zalora. I think they were only selling it for about 8,000 pesos at that time. And I even got a discount because it was on sale. That's still a lot of money. That's still a lot of money. And I think that if you have that money to spend on a bag, Man, check out this brand. They are made of pure Italian leather. As in guys, harabas bag ko talaga to. Kung san san ko na tong dinala with me. Kung ano-ano nang na-experience nito. And yet, it still looks so new. Like, I'm surprised. Even the hardware has no signs of wear and tear on them. The craftsmanship of this bag, I would say, is at par with all the other bags that I showed you, which are a lot more expensive. As in, kung anong laman nitong bag na to can fit in here and so much more. So yeah, I will link this in the description box. Hopefully, it's still available in Zalora. Moving on to my last favorite, most used bag. We have this midi Los Angeles bag from the brand Demilier London. I'm sorry that it looks so slouchy. It has nothing inside of it right now. This is a top handle bag, but it can also double as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. This is such a great casual bag, but at the same time, because of the color, it's perfect for the summer. It's perfect if you want to go out to the beach. And feeling ko dahil dun sa structure ng bag and dahil dun sa design ng bag you can also dress it up like this bag won't look casual at all if you decided to incorporate heels in your outfit and hindi ko alam kung napansin nyo pero mahilig talaga ako sa all leather bags dahil tried and tested ko na talaga na all leather bags will really really stand the test of time allow me to remove my lipstick I really just try to wear lipstick so that I get comfortable with it again I mean after the pandemic I've had like zero inclination to apply anything on my lips except for lip bomb. All right, anyway, last part of the video, uh, I have a little confession. Actually, it's not so much of a confession. This is something that I've already tackled and talked about in a previous video that I did, I think about two years ago. I will flash that on the screen. Also gonna link that in the description box. I really believe that when I started getting into bags, I had a totally different agenda in my heart, but that was not something that I was ready to face at that time. I liked that I was, you know, acquiring these luxury items. So, I turned a blind eye to, I don't know, this kind of sickness that I knew was festering inside of me. I mean, I came to the point where I actually sold most of my designer handbags. I was in complete, in total denial that these things, the luxury items that I was slowly acquiring was also defining stages of my life. And to me, that was very alarming. When I looked at everything I had, that's when the agenda at the back of my head hit me. I knew that there was something there that I needed to change. It is another thing 
to buy luxury goods because you know that it will hold a story to tell from a momentous part of your life, right? But it is another thing to buy luxury goods because they define where you are in your life. Just yesterday, my friend Danny Mortel and I were talking about success. And I've talked about this on my channel a couple of times as well. But basically, in a nutshell, success has been defined by society. It has been constructed to look a certain way. But in reality, it is a matter of contentment. Success does not depend upon how many bags you have acquired. It does not depend on whether you have already acquired a house for yourself, a new car you can provide comfortably for your family. If there's one thing that I know for sure, you cannot find purpose, you cannot find meaning, you cannot find joy, you cannot find life and love to the fullest in these material things that only money can buy. I had a really unhealthy relationship with my luxury items and that is the reason why I knew I had to let them go. It was only when I knew that I was responsible enough that I would not allow my things or my money to have control over me and that I would have control over them that I was assured that I was ready. And even until now, I have to be very careful not to put my value and the value of life in material things that can rot, that can be stolen, that will deteriorate. Honestly, I'm really thankful that by the strength of the Lord, I was able to release myself from giving so much glory to the things that I had. To me, it was just really shallow that I felt like dahil meron na ako nitong mga gamit na to, pwede ko nang masabi na ang layo na nang narating ko. Na yun ba talaga yung definition ko? Nang nara meron na akong narating sa buhay ko na dahil lang meron ako nabibiling ganitong ba? Guy. I'm not degrading the value of money, 100% we should be good stewards of our blessings. However, what I mean to get at is that these are mere blessings and what we should focus on and who we should have our eyes on is the one who blesses. That's a constant battle. It's an everyday thing that I have to learn myself. There are a lot of things that I am still unlearning up to this day. Yeah, ultimately, I, I guess that's just really how I want to end this video that these bags, they're really nice, but I believe that in my life, they should not hold much value. They are mere material things. If I'm being 100%, the core of this video was not to share to you my favorite bags, but to get to the bottom line that we should put the material things we own in place and we should keep our hearts in check. This is something that I have to continuously be reminded of. I'm sharing it, not because I have mastered it, but because I believe that we should be learning it together. I hope you guys enjoyed this rather long video. If you guys have any concerns, any comments, whether they're against or for what I had just mentioned, really feel free to share them. I love that I get to learn from you guys as well. Don't think that this is a one-way thing. I learn from your comments and I learn from your thoughts. So yeah, I'd love to hear them. I'm leaving you guys with love, hope, and faith. For today, you watched me, Michael Luis. Cannot wait to see you again. Bye everyone.